Twitter like SRK. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Kapoor. Mr. Khan, I'm going to feel gigantic standing next to you, but I think you have a mic in front of you. I We'd love for you to say a few words. While you're seated, you don't understand. I'm. Uh, thank you very much, and a very good evening to everybody. Thank you very much for having me at ASOCHAM, and thank you, uh, Dut Sab, for calling me. And uh, <clears throat> thank you, Ranaji, for uh, explaining to us uh, stuff that I really don't understand, especially the zeros and the billions that he mentioned. If I sat down to count the zeros and the billions that I may make one day, uh, that would I be think double or seven. Double, yeah, that's the only zero I understand. <laughs> but thank you very much for hoping and uh, believing. Apart from all that, I'll come down to that. First of all, uh, congratulations uh, to Asocham, nearly a hundred-year-old organization. I'm made to understand, uh, built up with a lot of perseverance, love, and of course, knowledge of different industries. And this year, I think they've dedicated themselves to create a white paper, as they call it, or a nearly a coffee table book because uh, here it is uh, which kind of tells us the way forward for the media and the entertainment industry so people in the media and entertainment Boniji is here Sunil my friend is here and I'm sure some of the people I, I can't see but uh, most of the people in the film industry look forward to leaders in the industry in the respective industries like Dut Saab, like Mr. Rana Kapoor to show us the way show us the path because uh, sometimes um, Creativity does overtake uh, the business angle of it all, so we don't understand. So I thank Asocham, I thank everyone involved with this white paper and everyone who is here on stage and all of you showing an interest in an industry which really uh, does form a core, one of the core industries in India. You know, when we talk about make in India, made in India, we talk about uh, the kind of stuff we do in this country somewhere, perhaps a little selfishly so or self-absorbedly so, I do feel the Indian film industry uh, does stand for something very specifically and beautifully made in India. It does uh, take us across borders, it tells people about our cultures, talks to them about our music and uh, somewhere down the line spreads the word of what India stands for in its own sometimes mad, sometimes cool, sometimes colourful and sometimes perhaps a little over the top way. So thank you very much for showing this interest. We all from the film industry on behalf of being someone on stage uh, a very small part, a uh, little cog in the wheel of this the great film industry that has been going on for the last hundred years. I thank you on behalf of the film industry for taking time out, all you leaders, to tell us what is the way forward. I've known Dutsa for many years, uh, his company for many years, like he said, I'm family, I'm part of it, and I wish I, did. I, wish I owned it, like he says, yeah. I wouldn't have to work so hard. <coughs> And yes, uh, perhaps we do work for pittances, we do work small time, perhaps we do things which are not as big as these wonderful businessmen who see the world from a different eye point uh, than we do. Uh, but we will learn from this. So thank you very much. Thank you for introducing me to the concept of dice, as Rana Kapuji said. Dice, right? Yeah. He says this, yeah, this is cool, so uh, I understand. This, this I understand. Dice, I understand in my own way. I, I just want… Dice needs to be elaborated. <coughs> I'll elaborate, yeah. I like girls to call me darling. D is for that. I, I want to be interesting to girls. C, I want to be really the coolest guy for girls. And E, I should have eyes so I can patao any girl that I want. That's the dice I understand. <laughs> and inshallah, one day this dice will make me earn the billions that you're talking about. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for having me over and thank you everyone uh, for attending this function. And uh, I'm only too happy to come to functions like this because uh, I do realize the importance of uh, business leaders like Rana Kapoorji, Dut Saab and uh, many amongst you uh, who show us the path. Uh, we all have been struggling for years to think of the film industry as an industry. Be as organized, be as uh, uh, far-sighted, be as visionary as most of you in this room. And hopefully one day we will get out of, uh, you know, when, when you are creative, uh, there are times and spaces where you do sometimes neglect the business and perhaps we don't have the overview that all of you world leaders of businesses from India have, but it makes us feel very important, makes us feel uh, uh, extremely humble that you should consider us, like you said, a very small business of about 6,500 crores or maybe just about 7,000 crores, smaller even to television, where we all work hard my friends here and we try to uh, uh, keep the culture going in our own uh, happy way 
uh, through the Bollywood films, through the South Indian films, through the Punjabi films, through the Uriya films, through the Bihari films, through the Bengali films. And for years, uh, this has been going on. And we hope sometime that, yes, inshallah, one day, we will crack the international code in terms of business and viewership. And we can only crack it when organizations like Asocham and uh, leaders like Mr. Rana Kapoor, Dutsa, so many amongst you, show us the path. So please do uh, help us, uh, explain to us the path to take so that uh, if we don't get the billions, at least we understand the, how many zeros are there in it. So thank you very much uh, for this great evening. I hope you guys have a good dinner, have some wonderful drinks, and you have the most entertaining people with you, Dut Saab and Dana Kapoor Saab. So you don't need me for entertainment. So I am trying to sound as serious as I can. But uh, God bless you, and thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Khan Saab, now I'm going to ask you to stand up, actually, because he's really taken time off from a very busy schedule, and you're going to go back to the shooting of Dilwale. Dilwale Dulhaniya le jayengi 87 times, like literally. So all the very best and thank you so much for being here with us this evening and uh, good night. We're not going to let him go, right? We, ha we have to, he's really hey, like, like, get away. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, before Khan Saab leaves, is there a question that the press would like to ask him? Uh, one question. Uh, this is Sohail. Uh, as Mr. Rana Kapoor said, okay, you have that potential, you have that capability, but then I think so you are just 10% you exploit, exploited yourself. Right? Uh, what have you to say about this thing and uh, how much seriously are you going to take this thing? Please exploit me. <laughs> All the ladies of the world come forth and exploit me. I'm waiting to be exploited. I have 90% more to give. I. Uh, you see, I try my best. Like I said, I have limited understanding of uh, uh, businesses and I am not ashamed to accept that. Uh, the visionaries like Mr. Rana Kapoor, they do understand businesses internationally more than I can. And I would like to remain in the creative space, but yes, whenever I get the opportunity with Mr. Kapoor, I spend time, try to understand, figure out how I can take the business of Indian cinema forward in our small ways. I think Boniji does that. All of us try our best. and. Uh, if we don't have leaders like this telling us how to do it, uh, we won't be able to do it. But I hope, yeah, that there is genuinely space for Indian film industry to the extent of 90% to take itself forward and rule the world. Not just me or Red Chili's or XYZ company. I think film industry as a whole in India, I think has a space to take itself 97% forward. And inshallah, in our lifetime, we'll be able to see that. I will congratulate you because you have done that thing. I think so. Ravan was one of the most expensive film you tried, actually. You know, I mean. Don't remind Boniji. It. Don't remind Boniji and me of expensive films, please. Thank you, Khan Thank That's you so much. We know you have to get back to your film. Thank you very much for being here with us. I, ca I can't afford it till Yes Bank gives me a loan. <laughs> so. Say yes to. Red chili say yes to SRK. And how much? You have to say that. You can't just keep saying yes. <laughs> Are you giving it to me in the billions that you mentioned? <laughs> but you know, uh, this one uh, question I come back to. Because you know, everybody knows you in the media, in the intellect of the media and the film industry. The bestest part of Shahrukh, which is uh, not a closely guarded secret, but uh, which can really make a transformational difference. If somebody like him creates India's biggest studio, and it's not about the Warner Brothers and the Columbia's and you know in Hollywood, uh, a man with his intellect, with his uh, intellectual capacity, with his entrepreneurship, and naturally driven by you know the talent, which spearheads that. If he can create an Indian studio, it'll become, it could become potentially a world market. So India needs a high jump and a long jump in entrepreneurship, in media and entertainment. I can't think of too many leaders, honestly, you know, who have the aspiration, who have the ability, who have the diversification and the uh, ability to manage teams. Because he manages sports teams, he manages even in Caribbean, right? <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, if he decides one day to be uh, at least 30% entrepreneur, that it can be the beginning of India's, you know, the Chinese have done it. How will you challenge Shahrukh, the Chinese? Because the Chinese have learned from the Americans and they're becoming bigger than the Americans. Can you not 
do something for India like oh, that, absolutely. Which, will, I, which can be disruptive, huh? which can is, be a paradigm. This is an open challenge to the Chinese. They understand this, you guys don't understand. So take the challenge and we'll talk about it. I'm going to challenge them. Thank you so much, uh, Khan Sahib. It was lovely having you here with us. We know you have to get Thank back you. to Thank your you shoot. Everyone.